Hello, I'm StormTracker 18 Weather Chief Meteorologist Matt Schaefer. It was a very cold morning in Eau Claire. The coldest of the winter so far, low of negative 26. But the cold air, the negatives, went all the way down to Texas to Dallas. Negative 2 degrees. Now, from my research, I found that this was the fifth low temperature below zero ever in the Dallas-Fort Worth area in the history, and it was tied for the second coldest they've ever been. The last time the negative temperature even reached Dallas was 1989, and the coldest temperature ever there was negative eight degrees. The second coldest again tied where we are at this morning. So very cold, even the lighter blue colors is the below freezing colors made it to pretty much every state out to the west parts of Arizona, most of Utah, Nevada, even to the mountains of California up to Oregon and uh, Washington to the east, the panhandle of Florida below freezing. Most of Georgia below freezing, including Atlanta at 26, a tiny corner of South Carolina. I saw the Greenville South Carolina airport had a 31 degree low temperature this afternoon. Actually, uh, Washington DC is 36. So east of there in Delaware, not that's the one state that did not have a freezing temperature somewhere in the state. Corner of Rhode Island and Northern Connecticut did as well. I'm not just talking about the lower 48. Yes, we know that Alaska certainly is cold. Not as cold as a lot of the area. In fact, Dallas was colder than Fairbanks, Alaska this morning. Uh, but even Hawaii, of course, most of Hawaii is plenty warm. The lows in the 60s and 70s. I'm talking about the Mauna Kea observatory at the very peak of the mountain. A tiny blue speck is there as if you really squint at it, but it is certainly just barely below freezing. It's very uh, happens regularly actually out on the observatory. Most of Hawaii not, but it is a part of Hawaii and it was below freezing. So 49 of the 50 states below freezing this morning. Now for us, we're going to start to see changes away from the super cold temperatures. We start clear, but clouds increase overnight. Maybe some flurries in the morning, better chances starting late morning through the afternoon and evening. It's going to be light snow, not adding up to a whole lot. A trace to an inch for most, maybe a little bit higher, up to an inch and a half. The low tonight is still cold, still below zero, negative nine in Eau Claire. But again, like last couple nights, very little wind chill effect, increasing clouds ahead of that snow system and the calm winds. This is the first night since earlier in the month uh, after a string of 11 straight days of wind chill advisories and warnings. None in effect tonight. Still cold, but not that cold. 16 for tomorrow's high temperature. Wind chills between zero and th that temperature. Uh, that chance for snow starts in really uh, most places a quarter inch to an inch, maybe isolated inch and a half, especially northwest of Eau Claire. But it's really going to be just some low visibility. So use your headlights when driving. And of course, you have to watch out for slippery roads not a huge snowstorm, but temperatures do continue to improve. Yes, there'll be chances for negatives on Thursday night and Friday night, but Wednesday night and Thursday night also could be above zero. Friday night looks cold, but we warm up to 20 on Saturday near 30 on Sunday. That comes with a chance for snow. Could see some accumulations there. But then after that system passes, we could be up pushing near 40 degrees next Monday and Tuesday as flurry chances linger.